All right, here with the G5 wing. I'm finding it to run nice and smooth, nice and quiet. Um, no smells or anything like that. However, yesterday I, it was kind of nice and I ran it on low in the window for about two hours. Nice and quiet, forgot it was there. Um, then when I took it out, I figured I'd test the motor to see how hot it was. And it was very hot to touch. Uh, I was a little surprised. Um, so my question for you guys is, how, how, what's, the, what's the correct operating temperature for a vintage electric motor like this? Um, so I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to test it right now with my multimeter, which has a temp gauge. And we're going to see what temperature the motor is at right now. Now it's not a hot day. And neither was it the other day when I ran it. Um, and I was surprised to find how warm the motor was. So that's really the question. What's a standard operating temperature for a vintage uh, two and a half amp, three amp electric motor like these are? I mean, I know they use a lot of electricity, so it stands to reason that they would be pretty warm, right? Um, but what are you guys finding? Uh, let me know. Let's see what this one says. All right, so as you can see, this reads in Celsius, and in the room today, it reads the ambient temperature in the room at 22. I think that's if you unplug. If I unplug the thing, about 20, 21 Celsius today. Um, so I plug in the dial, and uh, we'll pull, turn the fan, and we're going to unplug it, turn around, and this is what you've got. Where are we? This is what you're dealing with, is this little... This little uh, metal ball that you touch to your surface. Uh, I just ordered a gun on Amazon, so this is much easier to do once I have the gun. But uh, I'm just thinking about it today. So here we are. All right. So here it is. Here's the multimeter, and I'm going to touch this to the motor, and we're going to see what our temperature goes up to. Again, this is Celsius, remind you. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, what's it about forty, forty-one. I'm looking forward to having the gun because this isn't that easy to deal with. Um, this little silly wire with the little metal ball at the end. Try over here. It's also hard to do looking at one thing and trying to keep you on camera here. So 40 Celsius, 41, 39 are the different sort of temperatures I'm getting. All right, let's do the math on that. Here's what I've got. Ambient temperature in the room is 21 C around 69 degrees today. Uh, the temperature of the motor was at 39, 40, 41 Celsius, which is about 105.8. So it's running about 106 degrees. That's the temperature of the motor housing. Um, so, you know, it's a cool day today. Question is, on low, running, you know, running on low, it, if it was 90 degrees out, how much warmer would it be? Uh, the other day I ran the uh, exhaust fan, the uh, Bronson Exhauster, which is the uh, international. I ran that for a while, and that ran even hotter. That ran at about 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, again, just checked it, and it seemed really, really hot to you know, hot to the touch. Not, not where you jump your hand away, but um, just curious how these are supposed to run. Is this is this a good temperature? Um, what temperature do your fans run? Maybe uh, give me a good temperature on your your favorite regular fans that you run. Are you able to measure the temperature of those? Would you be surprised to find out how hot they run? Um, so this is the question, and this is something I'm gonna be looking at with all the fans as I get them cleaned up and oiled to run for summer, uh, is how, how hot are they running? Um, and for me, that's just, you know, something to know, number one, two, safety issue, um, so, other than the temperature, which surprised me, maybe it shouldn't surprise me, but the thing runs nice and quiet and smooth, so, um, again, this, this, the old fans are new to me, so I'm sort of learning this as I go, and I was a little surprised at how warm it felt to the touch, the motor itself. Uh, maybe that's common. I mean, if you have an air conditioner running all summer long, like a lot of people do, um, 
how hot do those motors run? I mean, are they running at 125 all day long? And you wouldn't know because it's inside the machine, right? Um, so I'm curious how this is all, you know, what's within safety limits. I know the oil won't burn until, you know, 300 degrees or something, right? Something like that. So these are all good questions. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. You guys uh, let me know what your knowledge says. And uh, thanks a lot.